Hey, it's Rick. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how I designed this calligram. First off, what is it? A calligram is a block of text where the shape of it creates an image that relates to the subject of the text itself. You can see a couple of examples in this old calligraphy book. I started with a very preliminary idea in my sketchbook. This was my initial shape, a traditional skull and crossbones. I wrote out the lines individually and scanned them onto the computer and played around in Photoshop to see how these would work within my shape. As with most visual ideas, sometimes you need to step back and rethink. Once I realized my initial shape wasn't going to work, I went back to the drawing board and came up with this skull and crossbones. I created this text with a simple brush in Photoshop. As had been my experience with calligrams, a lot of it comes down to luck. You're stuck with the length of the quote you choose, so if you don't have too much flexibility with the shape and the type won't fit, you're out of luck. Fortunately, this worked out. The word hoist is just the right length, and the dot on the I falls into place to where the nose would be on the skull. The H and the T also lend themselves to having this long tail that I can use to further define the shape of the skull. The length of the quote is also pretty good for this design. If there were too many words, the text would have to be very small, and if there were too few, there wouldn't be enough to fill out the shape. A design like this takes a lot of reworking to get it right. I traced over this design probably a dozen times, refining each version as I went, until I had something I was happy with as a starting point for the final text. I curved the letters more to give more of a dimensional feel as if they were wrapping around the bone. Once I had done the quick work on the computer, I printed it out and traced it over a few more times with a calligraphy pen, just to work out some more details. When I was happy with that, I scanned it in and created a background guide with curves I could follow. Then I pulled it into Adobe Illustrator as a background layer and got to work creating the final text. Now some might ask, why didn't you just create this in the real world with a calligraphy pen, scan it and use that as your final piece? Well, two reasons. Number one, I'm not that good at calligraphy. And number two, I wanted a design I can use in a number of ways, and producing it like this allows for a variety of uses. This design will be used to create merch for my shop. First, I want to create a vinyl decal, and vinyl cutting software needs a cut line. I can export this version from Illustrator as a DXF file and directly into my vinyl cutting software, which produces a perfect result. You can create the lines by tracing an image, but I don't find the results to be as good. I can also pull the final art into Photoshop and create screens for screen printing. I want to put this onto t-shirts and also I was thinking I could make prints out of it as well. I have a vacuum palette for my press that allows me to print posters. The way I did this in Illustrator was to quickly block in the text with the pen tool and then come back to it later and refine the shapes and thicknesses. I altered the thickness of the letters in each line to correspond to the text height. That is, the shorter the letters, the thinner they are. If I didn't do this, some of the text would have been so thick that it would be illegible, and some would be so thin it would look weird. What I'm aiming for is text where each word looks appropriately proportioned, rather than it all being the same size and thickness. I didn't get too ornate with the design of the letters. I know a lot of modern calligraphy is very decorative and swooshy, but I favor legibility. A calligram you can't read is just abstract art. I also didn't use a capital letter at the start as it wouldn't fit. I created some new pink guidelines as well to help me keep the shapes of the bones and the flow of the text. This time lapse represents about 10 hours of work, just moving points around. I'm not very proficient with Illustrator. I don't really care for creating vector art, so I don't use it much. I like pushing pixels better. I find it more like real world painting. It seems that all modern calligraphy includes some ink splatter, so I created that on a piece of paper and scanned it in. I used Photoshop to tweak the clean version by adding some of this splatter and some texture to the image. This will be for the t-shirt version. Here you can see it in both black and white. Here's a couple of printouts. Let me know in the comments if you prefer the clean version or the dirty version. Well, that wraps up this video. I hope you got something out of it. Don't forget to hit all the buttons on your way out, and thanks for watching.